Just be sure to this well 6.30 in the morning and there still ain't signs of slowing down Twin sisters getting wasted so they both are down It's going down, thought I told you man If you tryna party, let me see you raise your There's hand There's a party on 5th Ave If you tryna go I can be there in like 20, I'm a honkin' and come running Cause we gotta hit the road, we gotta hit the road Make sure you got a clean shirt, clean pants, new shoes Holiday season. Yikes. Uh, mostly his fault. Not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, it's like January 6th. We're finally able to train again together. We're finally able to After film. Five weeks off. Yeah, it's been a while. We apologize. Um, not that that many people really care at this point, but well, maybe. Who knows? maybe. I don't know. We've had a bunch of people from. From the gym, like, what the heck, uh, our work days are boring, so here's a little bit of an intro back into our I training. Just like recap the last five weeks, what's happened, we made the team. Yeah, so we've kind of, yeah, I mean, it's, that, I think the last vlog we had some training from that, teamed up for, uh, with Raylan Hughes about two months ago, she's an athlete out of CrossFit Flight, we've mentioned her, you've seen her train a little bit with us. Um, we've been training pretty consistently together, um, and in like three weeks from uh, Saturday, two three weeks, weeks Saturday. two and a half weeks, we compete at the Great Lakes Games, um, which is downtown Detroit at CrossFit in the D. Uh, Thirty-five teams, teams of six, three male, three female. And we are in sweet. the heavy hitter heat. So, oh, so we are top. Yeah. Top, top athletes. There's a lot of top athletes in Michigan, a lot of people that have gone to regionals, a couple of teams that have gone to regionals um, are competing, so we'll obviously be able to film that. Um, I don't know who will film that, but we got that. we'll film it as much as we can because we'll be competing. So Today we have a little bit of a clean, uh, some clean and jerk work, uh, no hook, no feet. See a little bit of that. We don't want to be too boring, um, although we do kind of want to get some footage because we haven't put anything out in a while. Long time. Uh, Basically, we'll, just yeah. enjoy today. This is our weakness Wednesday, and you're going to enjoy the suck with us. I'll have so. Zach film my weakness workout. He already did his earlier because he got in here a little bit earlier than I did. And then, uh, so yeah, we'll do a little bit of working out, and then we're going to try and do like a Q&A, maybe like a little recap of what we've been doing and what's to come, how um, the training looks going into the open, how we've changed our training, where the volume's at, where the intensity's at, and where we're going from there. Yeah, we'll chat. All right, cool. Uh, let's see Zach clean in three, two, one. You're back! We're back! This for the vlog, you guys have been We're back! Oh, baby! Hey guys, um, so 
we're, we're kind of, I'm, we're like half woke. I'm halfway through my workout. Zach's done because he trained earlier. We got to live together. You saw all that already. Um, we're gonna answer probably two questions real quick um, and then kind of elaborate from there. Keep it relatively short, but at the same time, Hopefully answer the question. Yeah. So, go ahead. Question one is kind of, uh, we're two weeks out now from our competition. And I guess a lot of people ask, a lot of athletes, going into a competition week of, how does their training differ? Leading up to that, do they stop training a day or two out, do they taper? Or if it's a mid-season competition, do they even really taper at all and just kind right. of Almost reduce the volume level, or just use that as a, a training day, yeah. so. Um, so, yeah, like there's two different ways you can kind of take it. Um, if you're going into like something like we're doing, which is, it's kind of mid-season, um, a little early leading into the open um, we're not gonna really taper as much as we would if it was say regionals or something um, we'll take probably a competitions on a Saturday so we'll probably take Thursday relatively light Friday will be um, like a mobility um, like a slow paced row or ride um, and a lot of stretching and then basically use Saturday especially because it's a team event um, as just another training day uh, take Sunday off and then back at it Monday since it's six a, a six person team um, the amount of work for each individual isn't Relatively as much high. work as you would think um, especially when you compare it to an individual competition um, for just one athlete like a full day individual for event competition I mean you're wrecked after something like that regardless of if it's after the open, before the open, whatever. Right, and kind of just piggybacking on that, we're not trying to peak for this competition. Um, being that neither one of us has made it to regionals yet, our, our goal is to peak for the open so we can potentially make it to the regionals. Like, that's our goal Yeah, overall. as a team. Yeah, yeah as a team. Still, so. and it's this team that we're trying to put towards regionals, so right. it's really cool for us to be able to work with the six um, people that we, we kind of put together. Uh, and use this as kind of like an exhibition round for what could possibly come. Right. Um, Good come measuring regionals. stick. Being that we're especially yeah, especially against all the other teams that are going right. to be there. You know, like we're like 50 days out from the open, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So, so yeah, nothing super crazy. Um, if you're like a beginner and you're going into your first competition, um, as a coach, we kind of always stress the fact that you don't want to do anything drastically different than what you're used to because then you know something might change or you might react to something I was just having a conversation today with uh, a, a want or a soon-to-be police officer I guess he's going into his physical training on Friday he's actually my barber um, and he was asking me you know like what should I do for food the day before or the morning of or should I you know should I make any crazy changes on I just basically told him do everything normal just exactly how you have been because you don't want to make some crazy change eat you a, react you know, a shit ton of pasta have like a weird stomach reaction or, or something like that and have it basically affect uh, the results for whatever you're training for or whatever you're leading up to so right. do everything normal that's how I would, I would pace it I would agree with that what's the next one the next one was oh basically same question but going into the open so how do we um, view these next 50 days uh, before 16.1. I'll just kind of say, looking around at like others, competition blogs and open prep, we're going to start doing stuff like a lot of other blogs are doing where we're doing a primer beforehand or like a pre-workout wad, basically get our heart rate up and really fatigue us before we get into some of this heavy lifting. Things you're going to see at like the open pace where it's just hanging onto a bar at medium to light weight, just kind of going. Being able to breathe and complete, uh, I guess, well form. if that makes sense, repetitions, um, like under a lot of stress or under a lot of fatigue, especially Olympic movements, is definitely the key in, hey dude, in uh, the open. So being successful in the open, you, you basically have to do gymnastics movements, a lot of them, and do them well. High repetition, uh, barbell movements, well and be able to breathe the whole time and have a motor that pushes you through whatever the duration of the workout is so you'll see like we're adding like zach said three workouts which is not like c4 or anything like we're pre-exhausting ourselves for lifts 
and then we're also doing more Metcon style CrossFit workouts. So um, a lot of 21-15-9 complexes, a lot of EMOMs with you know burpees and double unders and basically everything all that the good we're stuff. Planning on seeing in the open. Yeah, but then at the same time, like you'll never see. Well, I shouldn't say never, but we probably won't expect air dines, right? You know, in the open. I guess right. we, we saw rowers, which is awesome, but. So we've been blasting the Airdyne just to build that anabolic capacity. Metabolic? Metabolic. Anabolic steroids, right? Muscle building, all that really good stuff. We don't do steroids, but it'd be pretty cool if we did. Let <laughs> um, me tell you. Oh man, on my phone, I have a quote. I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna send the quote to Zach, and I'm gonna read it because this is what I wanted to end this vlog with. Hold on one second. Huh? I said I want you to read it, Candy, because you haven't seen this yet. So, a couple uh, vlogs ago, I actually don't remember which one it was because we haven't done one of these in a while, but um, we did a video basically, why do you like CrossFit Grand Rapids? And one of our members, Leah, um, was caught off guard and said a very boring answer, and she said, the people, which is cool and all, but in reality, she had a better answer. So she's driving home. She texted my girlfriend, Jay. She had my number and she basically wrote her true feelings on why she likes the gym or CFGR. Um, and it kind of, it's really cool. So we are going to end this vlog with Zach reading this. I, I don't know if you skimmed through it, but for the first time, it's pretty cool. You guys are gonna cry. Don't cry, but it's cool. So this is what Leah said when I when she rethought about her answer to why do you like CrossFit Grand Rapids. Right. At the gym today, he, Ryan, was asking people why do we like CFGR. The typical answer is because of the people and the camaraderie. But going home, I really thought about it. For me, CFGR is my outlet. It's my home away from home. I go to release my energy and feel good about myself. My accomplishments, either big or small. CFGR is where I go to have me time. I go to CFGR to get a good workout, in with my friends, and I love me some CFGR. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool. Heartfelt. Thank you, Leah. Um, you just walked in, so I'm going to go make fun of you now. But Thanks for watching this. We're kind of back. Um, we're not going to set a schedule because our schedules are still crazy, um, but hopefully we'll have one of these up every so often. Whatever that means, but all right. It thanks. will be more consistent. See ya.